Hello everybody and welcome to the Quantum League Qualifiers, coming to you live via recorded broadcast transmission from the scenic underpass of anywhere U.S. Earth. We have two potential rookies trying out today in the blue corner playing Bjorn, John Chalant in the red corner playing Justin is Nico Camillo. Let's get down to the action and see what these two have to show us. Let's take the action down to Justin in the red corner. We'll go to their first person perspective just to get things started. They come out the right side and drop down into cover, avoiding the high ground. On the other side, they see John Chalant. They exchange shots, but nothing's doing. Thinks about grabbing the health pack, but it's not there. Notices that JC grabbed the health pack on the other side. They're back and forth. Looks like John Chalant gets the shot in on him before they rewind back for cycle number two. Now, Mansa, I believe you said that you did a little research on that John Chalant, and he has something that he's going to show us today. Yeah, thanks. And uh, yeah, uh, John Chalant mentioned something called the roundabout. Now, I'm not exactly sure what that's about and how it's going to work or how it's going to affect uh, his opponent, but it promises to be something new and innovative, and we should all keep an eye out for that. Now, looking back on this replay, I noticed that uh, well, he's hiding behind those boxes over there. I'm sure the other guy can see him, too. Let's see how this turns out. Insightful as ever, Mansa. Thank you. In the start of the second cycle, we come over to the red corners on the health pack side. We see that JC has rushed the health pack on the his left, red's right. Secures the health pack in the middle, prohibiting Red from grabbing it. The second quantum is still going back and forth. He's down. We see the second quantum of Red. Blue does not. Blue is just shooting to secure the area in case they come back to life in potential next quantum. Here in the third quantum, we're going to start from the top of Red. And now it looks like Red is going to go up over the middle and try to secure the high ground and push on JC down below and maybe prevent JC from getting the kills over on the red corner but as you can see JC is overwhelming red on the right hand side takes the high ground it looks like one two three of blue are up only one of red is up that gives blue the first points of the first round the first round goes to blue well they get that round indeed I gotta admit I thought that that John Chalant guy was playing chicken at first but he's not chicken anymore because he is definitely going to number on the uh, the red guys down there Pulling out all the stops and doing what needs to be done to make sure that the business gets handled. Because uh, that's not a very easy move to do, as you can see on here. Back to you, JC. The fans over in the red corner are extremely happy to see this type of excitement. Ladies and gentlemen, these people are all appropriately spaced out, and you should be too. Gentle reminder, remain six feet apart from each other at all times during this pandemic crisis. Back to the action down in the Quantum League Qualifier Arena. Red coming into the second round, first cycle, taking the measure of Blue across the arena. Steps right up into the high ground, way out in the open, and gets the pick. Blue goes down, Red goes and secures the health pack to make sure Blue doesn't secure it for themselves. And that's the end of the second round first cycle let's rewind it back and see what happens in the second cycle of the second round maybe there will be some adjustments made all right let's take the action over to the red health pack corner here as we start the second cycle of the second round and it looks like blue comes out and right away gets quantum two is down it looks like only quantum one from the first this is all replay quantum here oh the quantum two grabs the health pack and has come back into life Blue Quantum 2 takes out Quantum 1, but Quantum 2 from Quantum 2 Red survives, meaning that there is one blue and one red. So what are we going to do here? Let's keep it on the action in the red corner. Let's uh, see here. Blue is going to drop down and go in into the right side. They're still maintaining the two on the high ground from the original Quantum 1st and Quantum 2nd. So here we are in the third cycle. It looks like Red is going to student body right. All three are over on the right-hand side. Red has got totaled up. No! Blue is taking the action back on him. Two go down right away. The third goes down. That leaves two blue up. No red up. That means blue wins the round. Let's take this right over to the overhead cam and see what happens. All of red is spawned in in the third quantum. All three quantums are staying together. One goes down and is going to go try to grab the health pack. Unfortunately, you can't both grab the health pack. So one takes it. The other one is almost out of health. One goes down. Two goes down. Third quantum. The final to go down. Blue. Gentle reminder from the Quantum League team, every Tuesday you can come on down for qualifiers. Get ready if you're ready, and you can go for the gold. Don't forget the effects of the Quantum League include going backwards in time. Next Tuesday, last Tuesday. Back down into the action. Let's take the overhead shot of the blue starting corner. JC comes out and takes a little side step to the left. The exchange of shot. They both go over the shoulder of each other. JC attempts to take out the explosive on the right. Fails, takes out the explosive on the left, but then goes down. Does JC make a move for the center? No, JC jumps back up on the top while red cycles around. That's a little unusual. I say cycles, but comes around. Let's rewind back. 
to the second cycle of the uh, third round. Let's see if there's going to be any adjustments. Let's try to keep the camera here and see if JC makes any adjustments here. I want to hear about maybe this is the move. No, what, what is this? They're just kind of mimicking each other. That that seems a little cautionary tale, ladies and gentlemen. You don't want to be too close to each other like that. You might get uh, rocket launched into uh, oblivion. I say rocket launched, rocket exploded, whatever it may be, as the First Quantum of Red continues to survive. Uh, JC, second Quantum, takes up the ramp on the right, on the left-hand side, the red side, excuse me, and fails. Not sure what's going on here. One more time, let's stay in this corner, see what JC is up at. The, this, is this the roundabout move we heard so much about? There it is again. I can't exercise enough caution here. One rocket would have exploded all three of them, and that would have been the end of round three right then and there. And it looks like this is almost the end of round three anyways. Looks like uh, Red has completely secured the high ground, has both the health packs. That's it. Red scores the point. Good job, Justin. Rewind it back and take a look at it from Justin's point of view. All of all of blue is right there. One rocket would have been enough, but I guess a couple of sniper shots are going to be enough as well. Again, down in the middle, blue's going for the health pack. Slides on the knees. There's a quick move by blue, but uh, it's not enough. Outnumbered, three to one. Red takes home the point. And they're giving each other high fives, but only because they're using today's sponsor, Generic Brand Hand Sanitizing Solution. When you feel like grooving it, be sure to use Generic Brand Hand Sanitizing Solution, and don't be too slow. Back to the action from Red's Corner as we start round four, first cycle of round four. Blue and Red again measuring each other. Red stepping out and gets shot just like that. Blue is looking and looking and oh, is prepared. Red has been going for that health pack the entire game. Blue was totally prepared for that. Knew they were going to be there and instantaneously takes them down. Let's rewind this back. What do we got? Let's look at it from the red health pack corner. Measuring each other up. Down goes red. Blue, you can see them kind of thinking about where they might be. Bam! I assure you, ladies and gentlemen, there is no tracking software involved here. Another angle from Blue's perspective. Blue looks across. Misses there. Measures them out. Bam! Done. Thinks about exploding the barrel. Nope, decides. Let's go over here just in case they spawn. Yes, of course they did. I got you just like that. Uh, only because you spawned exactly where you were going to spawn, Red. Let's not think about this. What's going on as we begin the next cycle? Re cycle 2. Fourth round. Having successfully held the first cycle. On to the second cycle. JC opts to drop in. He's trying to secure the mega, the health pack in the middle. That's It's down. Takes care of Red. Starts peppering the middle just in case somebody else spawns there in the future, I presume. Not sure what's going on here, but that, that was an unusual push from them. Let's take it to the third round here now. We've got uh, we've got the first cycle who's going to obviously take care of the first cycle on the other side. And then we've got the uh, shotgun guy down below. And this third cycle is kind of measuring out what's going on over here. I guess the third cycle of... Uh, oh, takes out the third cycle of blue. We've got an unusual situation here. We've got red coming back in with one of its lives remaining and we've got blue coming back in with one of its lives remaining over to the red side and red's taking out the this this is overtime what is going on is it could this be it yeah so do you think that all he did was what was that his big move the big roundabout that was it running around the what is this craziness i don't understand let's take it back to his perspective as in, in the last cycle of, of the round we're replaying this before we restart the action ladies and gentlemen we want to kind of understand what what's going he just runs around on a giant circle. I mean, is was that the move? All right. Okay. Well, replay it back here. We'll start from red. Red is now measuring them out. Here comes that big run around circle. Red clearly knows where they're coming from. Should be able to put them down. Is missing. This has got to be. All right. I'm, we're not sure what's going on. We've got to get back to the live action. We can't hold this and try to figure it out. Uh, not the two titans of the gameplay. What is this? We're back. We're back at the, the shotgun under, underneath near the health pack. And, uh, oh, oh, the stealth move. He's behind Red. Red has no idea that he's behind. That, is this what the action was? Is this what the distraction was? Oh, my goodness. Get back behind the line with the shotgun while you're running up above and everybody's looking at your move, the roundabout. Is this the roundabout? I don't believe it, ladies and gentlemen. Blue takes a tremendous lead at this point. It would be nay impossible for Blue to lose this point. 
Mansa, what do you think is going on? Well, I didn't know beforehand, but I'm pretty sure that was the roundabout move. And like you said, he distracted them, and they came up around on the other side and was able to wipe them out. He got all the health packs, it looks like. He went through the teleport thing. He dotted all the I's and crossed all the T's. That's what happened. He dotted the I's and crossed the T's. So we can call that the Dr. I crossed the T move, or we can call it the roundabout. Either one works for me. Back to you. You're absolutely right, Mansa. All that's left is for him to wind out the clock, as they say on this temporal anomaly that has gone absolutely crazy. Red is trying to take care of Blue. Blue cannot get it done. Red is desperately trying to secure space. Realizes the middle is gone. Goes back up to the high up. It's too late. You can't run from the roundabout, ladies and gentlemen. That is all she wrote for today. The qualifiers, beautiful downtown anywhere. Earth, you are welcome to come, ladies and gentlemen. We want to thank the fans for showing up and all of our Patreons. Aiden, Emily, Pinky, and Becky, thank you so much for supporting this channel. Don't forget to use your hand sanitizer out there, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, thanks for having me on, JC. This is great. And uh, yeah, like you said, everybody, like and subscribe to his site. You see a lot of great stuff. And also like and subscribe to my site, you know, Mansa the Great. It's on YouTube. You can check that out. And also you see me on uh, Twitter now and then. Well, not Twitter. You see me on Twitch.